unboxing video with a running commentary. So just got this from uh, Nikon Canada. <laughs> I thought the box would be like this because I bought a bunch of a bunch of stuff you will see in a second. So basically this is for my because I sold my previous D850, right? I wanted to get a D6 and then I went cheap and instead of buying a retail version I got a gray market version and I had some issues with it, sent it back uh, thinking it was defective. Turns out it was not defective but I decided not to take my chances again with gray market and just get a real retail uh, Canadian. Okay, so what we have here, FTZ or FTZ adapter to use uh, AF lenses on a mirrorless. And guess what this is? Power battery pack. <laughs> this is so cool. This is for the mirrorless camera. And uh, so this is the mirrorless Z6 II. And this is the the DSLR. I swear to God, this is third time I'm buying this. But the first two times it was gray market. This is finally now I raked up the carriage to get a full retail version again, Canadian, right? So this is what I had before. Amazing camera for wildlife for scenery. So this is going to be my main camera for photo. And this is going to be my backup camera for photo, but also it's going to be my main camera for um, video because everybody says that Z6 II and Z7 II, especially this one Z6 II, it's great for video. It's a small camera, lightweight, you know. But I never, this is my first time that uh, I bought this camera. So, of course, you get all this stuff here. So, that's the first thing you got to do is I have to charge it. I'm looking for I'm looking for a charger and this and that's the thing you know when you buy a gray market camera they never give you this piece that's been my experience they give you just a cable a cable that plugs in in the back of this and that's such a nuisance you know uh, hold on a second let me just put it so well I don't actually need this and, uh, Got to prepare the battery for charging. Yeah. Oh, and this is like a standard, standard uh, charger. MH twenty five, twenty five A. See, so now this is ready for charging. And then we have some plastic pieces here. I never use them. Some cables, like a USB cable. I never use that either. Because I'm gonna use it on my card reader. And look how small this is. Even even in a plastic. Man. I'm, I'm getting really excited about the about this trip. Wow, look at this. So small and, and still a very deep grip but it's that's what people were complaining you see like I'm holding it pretty much my um, little finger is off and this one just touching slightly and that's why I bought this this is a battery grip it will go on the back here so the camera will look pretty cool and it has its own battery uh, because these are not very good for battery life right but this super cool camera so I'm gonna use it with my um, Sigma 135 millimeter. Hopefully it works with this one. And also I have 18 to 35. You know, let's say when I wanna do a video of myself or some landscape shots. And then I just bought uh, 300 millimeter F4 PF. I'm gonna pick it up on the way to, uh, to Yellowstone. So this is my new mirrorless camera. All right, let's just... Okay, let's take a look at the, at the battery pack. Because this was specifically designed for this camera. But something is telling me there should be some kind of a trick in here. Okay. 
Okay, so how do we... Where's the battery? So this connects at the bottom, I'm guessing. Oh, this goes into the battery compartment. Check this out. But then... They conveniently forgot to tell you that you need a battery for this. Because it feels very light. Push. Push. Oh, this way. You see? There's no battery. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, these people, they're a bunch of idiots. Somebody is buying a battery pack, right? So why would I want to buy a battery pack but without a battery? Wait a second. Maybe it's the same one. But then what's, what's the point? What's the point? Well, look at this. It goes in. Yeah, so maybe that's how it works. Like, it's very unusual. Make sure that it... it uh, you don't get extra power. So basically all you get is just more grip. Funny. Anyway, so I'll have to research this. But this would make the camera basically nicer, you know, easier to hold. And uh, I thought I would be getting more more power, you know, but only one battery. Interesting. These engineers, right, they always come up with something not necessarily good, you know. Like everything worked well before with the battery grips. Now they came up and they designed something better, right. Anyway. I like these. These are great to keep the camera in. All right, let's take a quick look at the D850 to make sure there's nothing missing here. I know this one very well. Like I said, I had this one. I don't know why they bother with these. Nobody reads these. So the same stuff, plastic parts, plastic parts. The main thing is this, the charger, which I'm guessing is the same as this. The strap, I never use these because you don't want to advertise uh, the fact that you're carrying an expensive camera. So I never even open them. So when I sell the camera, I just... The new owner is always happy because I give him, I give him a brand new strap. I said never used, never opened. So yeah, this is my first retail version of the great D850. Brand new. Let's see, the film is still here. And this camera came out in like 2015 or 2016, but it's such a great camera, you know. So it's much it's much better for autofocus uh, when you're shooting wildlife, like flying or you know running, than that one. But that one is cool for landscapes and it's cool for and it's cool for video. So that's my update today. So that's what I'm going with uh, to um, Yellowstone National Park, to Badlands National Park, and to Custer State Park. Cool?